today I'm going to show you guys how to get all the knots and tangles out of your thick and tangled hair. video on how to kind of deal with tangled hair and thick hair and if you guys are wondering where I'm filming I'm actually filming in my bathroom because I just got out of the shower I don't know if you guys can tell but my hair is still wet and when I was in the shower I was thinking of like what ideas I can do for different videos and I actually came up with this idea because you know the best ideas come when you're in the shower no I'm totally just kidding but I hope that you guys kind of enjoy this little hair tutorial, I guess you can call it. So if you have really thick hair like me, then you know that when you get out of the shower and you try combing your hair, it's so tangly and it takes a long time to comb through. It takes me almost like 30 minutes to comb through it. It's crazy. But I'm going to show you guys just a simple and easy thing that you can do in the shower every day so that your hair won't be all tangled when you get out. And even if you don't have really thick hair, if you just have really tangly hair, then this will work great for you guys too. So if you want to learn how to get detangled hair, then keep on watching. So the first thing I do when I get in the shower is I put shampoo in my hair. So this is the shampoo that I use, and it's by Suave, and it's just the daily clarifying deep cleanser shampoo for normal to oily hair but you guys can use just any shampoo you have so I just put that in my hair and then rinse it out and then I put conditioner in my hair and this is the conditioner that I use and it's by Pantene and it's for medium to thick hair and I really recommend using this conditioner if you have really thick hair it really helps to get like all the knots and tangles out and this is a pretty big bottle too, so it'll last a long time. And I just get this from the drugstore. It costs like $3, so it's pretty cheap. And then on the back, it just says it's for medium to thick hair and that the surface of thicker hair is made up of many overlapping cuticle layers. And that daily care and styling can cause these layers to lift and chip, which leaves your hair feeling dry and rough. And so this Pantene shampoo and conditioner system features micro nourishers that moisturize, help seal cuticles, and repair damage from root to tip. Your once dry damaged hair becomes moisture rich, soft, and shiny. So this stuff works really good. So I would definitely recommend this. So what I do is I just put this in my hair, you know, you just get it all through your hair from like root to tip. And then what I do is I get under the water and I kind of start rinsing out the conditioner but don't rinse it out all the way, just kind of rinse it out a little bit. And then take a comb like this. This is just a wide tooth comb from Conair and start combing through the hair with some of the conditioner still in your hair. And it's okay if there's like knots and tangles, just like comb through whatever you can. And if there's knots, you don't have to like try to work them out or anything. Just like go through your hair as good as you can. And then just rinse out the rest of the conditioner. So this really helps to get rid of some of the knots and tangles. And then what I do after that to get rid of even more knots and tangles so that my hair is totally tangle free once I get out of the shower is I take this Pantene Tangler Spray. And this is also for medium to thick hair. But this is what the bottle looks like. And this one is also from the drugstore. It's pretty cheap. and has a lot of product in it. So what I do is I get away from the water so I just kind of back up so that there's no water hitting my hair and I spray this through my hair so from root to tip and then I go through it with my fingers and then what I do is I take my comb and I spray it into my comb also and then I start combing through my hair and just start combing through as good as you can. And if there's still knots and tangles, you still don't have to like work with them and like try to get them out. Just go through your hair and then get back under the water and rinse out your hair. And then once it's kind of rinsed out pretty well, then take your brush again while you're under the water and 
start combing through it and getting all those knots out because now the knots should be able to just really detangle really easily. You shouldn't have to work hard to get rid of the knots and tangles. And so now your hair is detangled and free of any knots. So now that you're out of the shower, your hair is still going to be wet and you have to be careful because you can still get it tangled if you dry your hair wrong. So what I like to do is I take my hair and I pull it to one side and I take my towel and I start kind of dabbing my hair, kind of squeezing it and squeezing out all the water. You don't want to rub through it like most people do. Like, don't want to do that to your hair because it's just going to get your hair more tangled. So once you kind of dab through it and dry it as much as you can, a lot of people, what they like to do is they like to put their hair up like this. And this also will get your hair really tangly. So instead of doing that, what I like to do is I pull my hair to the side again like this. And it's kind of weird what I do, but I think it works pretty well. So I take my towel and I kind of start wrapping it sideways around my hair so that I'm not like tangling my hair or anything. So I just keep wrapping, wrapping it, if you guys can see that. And then I take it and I pull it over my head like this. And this really doesn't get your hair all tangled at all. And like the towel stays pretty well. I know it kind of looks silly, but it's worked for me. So then after it's dried a little, you just take your hair out of the towel and then comb through it. And it should comb through perfectly without any knots or tangles. And then I just have some other tips for those of you that have really thick hair. So first I recommend getting your hair cut at least once a month. And you don't get, have to like cut off like a lot of hair, just cut off like the ends of your hair because they get really dry and dead and they tend to tangle a lot. And then some other tips for when you're getting your hair cut is to get layers in your hair because layers help to not get your hair as tangly. And then I also recommend asking your hairstylist if they can kind of thin out your hair. And for those of you who have never had it thinned out, like the first time you get it thinned out, it feels like they're cutting your hair. Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but it feels like they're taking off a lot of hair. But after you get it done, your hair feels so much lighter and it just feels so much better and is so much easier to comb through and so much easier to just deal with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and I hope that these tips help and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.